Hello, and welcome to Test Taker Experience Training, Completing a Skills Checklist. The goal of the training today is to walk you through how to complete a Prophecy Skills Checklist requested by your facility or staffing agency. Your facility or staffing agency contact will provide you with the login credentials necessary to get logged in to complete all requested assessments. When you come to the test taker login page, you'll enter in your username and password. You'll also find that we've provided um, a couple of how-to videos right here on the test taker login page. We've also provided you with a uh, link to our practice, practice exam library, along with some of our more commonly asked questions and answers. So if you're having difficulty with any of your assessments, you can certainly come and utilize the frequently asked section as a resource. So when you get logged into the test taker portal, you are provided with a list of requested assessments broken out by assessment type. You'll find all clinical assessments uh, at the top, and then you'll find a, uh, any situational assessments, behavioral assessments, and then lastly, all requested skills assessments. To get started with your skills checklist, you'll go ahead and select begin next to the appropriate assessment. And when, you're, when you select begin, you're brought to uh, an instruction page. Here from the instruction page, you're provided with a list of the different knowledge domains that will be covered on the skills checklist. You're also notified that the skills checklist is untimed, and you do have the ability to go in and out of the skills checklist to complete it um, within a, uh, the time leisure that's going to be most convenient for you. Um, and then you'll go ahead and select begin assessment when you're ready to get started. Now, the skills checklist is a self-evaluation tool allowing you to uh, self-evaluate or self-rank yourself in terms of proficiency, as well as perceived frequency of practice within your specialty area. You'll notice that you're able to rank yourself on a scale of one to four or non-applicable. And we've given you a uh, legend here, if you hover over the question mark here, that gives you um, how you would rank yourself in terms of uh, proficiency and, again, perceived um, frequency of practice. So you'll walk through and select the appropriate rank for yourself. And you'll notice that as you select um, the rank, the answer selection is going to be highlighted for you in blue. If you skip the section, you will get this red bar at the top of the screen notifying you that you have incomplete data, and you'll want to go back through and make sure that you answer all of the required sections of the skills checklist. Information, your years of experience in your clinical specialty, and then you'll also select or enter in uh, the most recently facility that you've worked at. Then you'll also lastly just certify that the information you provided accurately reflects your education received and your experience in each of the clinical areas identified within the last two years. You'll select the checkbox there, and then you'll select finish. And you've completed a skills checklist. We do want to wish you the best of luck on all of your assessments, and thank you for tuning in to today's training session.